Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video we're going to look at the histology of cardiac muscle. So this is a section of cardiac muscle under low magnification, 40 times magnification. Let's go to a higher magnification where we can start to make out some more structures. So this is cardiac muscle and you can see the muscle fibers running from left to right. Even at this lower magnification, this is 100 times magnification, you can see intercalated discs here at my arrow, here again at the arrow, over here. Um, you can also see that these are tubed cells that are branched. Here's a branch. Um, Here's a few other branches down here. Let's go to another higher magnification. Oh, there's some labeling I've done on a different picture to show you the intercalated discs. This is the highest magnification I have, 450 times magnification. And now you can much more easily see that branching that I described. Here, over here. Um, you can also see the striations in cardiac muscle. The striations created by those sarcomeres that we talked about on the molecular level when we talked about skeletal muscle especially. Another intercalated disc here. In fact, let me click over to the picture that's labeled. And there's a lot of arrows here going to various intercalated discs. So again, this is basic cardiac muscle. Um, I'm going to keep clicking because there's other pictures also of cardiac muscle, the magnification is similar. What you do notice is different here is that this was done using a different staining procedure. All of the major features are still here, um, but it does look a little bit different in terms of color. You can still see the striations. You can still see that these are tubes of cells that are branched. You can make out nuclei. Um, you can make out the substance around the nuclei, which is basically um, storage of sugars. And the way humans store sugars is as glycogen, so there's glycogen in these cells. Four hundred and fifty times magnification of the same kind of image. You can see the striations, you can see the branched appearance, and you can see intercalated discs. This is still another type of staining done on the same kind of tissue. I love to show the various types of staining because um, what it teaches my students is to recognize the major characteristics rather than memorizing a picture. So here's some intercalated discs labeled. And again with cardiac muscle you can see the tubed appearance of the cells but the branched nature of the cells. You can make out the nuclei and you can make out the glycogen usually around the nuclei. So there's without the labels. You can still easily see the intercalated discs, intercalated disc, intercalated discs. And we're back to the original image. So that's the basics of um, histology of cardiac muscle. As always, if there's any questions, please let me know. And thank you once again for watching.